Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, and today we have a short update video for Modern Warfare 2. This is more of a follow-up than anything. Recently, you guys have been hearing me talk about all the false bans that are going out on Modern Warfare 2, paying customers, being banned by Activision, everybody getting the exact same error message, and basically their money is being stolen by this multi-billion dollar company. Sure, there are some cheaters out there, but there's also a bunch of people being banned that aren't cheating, they're losing their accounts, they're losing the game they just paid for, and Activision has hasn't said anything. Well, today Tom Henderson has been reaching out on Twitter because he's starting to get DMs claiming that false bans are being lifted for certain players out there. He's also been doing a bunch of research as to what might be triggering these false bans within the Rico Chat anti cheat, and he came up with these four different softwares that you may have on your PC, including Logitech G Hub, IQ, I personally have that one, that's kind of scary, Afterburner, as well as Razer Synapse 3, which is another software I have on my PC. So a bit concerning for me he recommends that until all these false bans stop happening that we just uninstall all these programs but of course i'm just gonna leave what i have on my pc so far it's been so good and apparently what is happening is activision is slowly starting to make it so these accounts that were falsely banned are no longer banned people on twitter are responding to tom henderson letting him know that their account has been lifted according to the appeal website i'll put a link to that down there in the description if you do get a ban from modern warfare 2 for no reason you can try to appeal on this website typically you're met back almost instantly because it's run by a computer it's not run by an actual person and they say this exact error message right here but for some people the appeals are actually going through but when they try to launch modern warfare 2 they're still banned so maybe there's still something further that activision has to push through to get these you know people that were falsely banned back into the game we're going to have to wait and see but then we got this very interesting reddit thread that went up yesterday but what makes it even more interesting is the person that posted this deleted it he made this exact same reddit post four times across all these different call of duty and activision subreddits and now it's gone so take all of this with a pinch of salt but i went to activision blizzard's office in austin texas to discuss wrongful bans and was met by security after being wrongfully banned on october 28th from modern warfare 2 on battle.net and having my appeal auto denied which is what's happening to so many people i chose to make a new activision account with a new email and repurchase the game on Steam, which resulted in me being wrongfully banned again on October 29th, the very next day. Today, Halloween, I decided to go to the nearby Activision office in Austin, Texas to attempt to speak with an employee due to the fact that it's impossible to speak with someone over the phone. I was met by a security guard in the parking lot at Activision who told me that I would not be able to speak with anybody. After asking the guard politely to go into the office and explain the situation to an employee, the guard agreed to go speak with a worker. The guard came back out to the parking lot and told me that the employees said that, quote, they are short staffed and it will take a few weeks for the wrongful bans to be resolved. I voiced my frustration due to the fact I spent one hundred and forty dollars total, seventy dollars for the first game, which got him banned and seventy dollars for the next game that got him banned. And I'm left unable to play. And the security guard told me to, quote, not allow myself to get mad about a video game. <laughs> <laughs> I've made a whole living out of that, man. I made a career out of that. Come on, it's okay to be mad at a video game, especially when it's made by Activision. And told me that, quote, I can be patient and wait. The fact that I can't speak with someone at Activision Blizzard is frustrating. I simply want to enjoy this game that I spent $140 on. He then links his Activision ID because lots of people are starting to post their Activision IDs to Reddit in these giant threads in the hopes that somebody at Activision or somebody on the Team Rico chat will go through and actually manually review all of these cases and unban the people that should not have been banned in the first place. But like I said, that Reddit thread, all four of them have been removed by the user. So I don't know why that happened. So again, take all that information right there with a pinch of salt. But right now, Tom Henderson is claiming that he's getting a bunch of DMs from people saying that they have been unbanned according to the appeal website, but they still are not yet able to play the game. So perhaps, it's entirely possible that Activision is actually working on this. And look, you can't just unban these people, man. If these people spend 70 
to $100 on a video game. You ban them opening day for no reason. And here we are, what, five, six days into the game's life cycle. And eventually you unban them. Who knows? It may even take weeks before they eventually unban these people who were unjustly banned in the first place. There better be some compensation, man. There better be something that these people are getting, man. Can you imagine just like in any other any other business, right? Any other product that you purchase, you know, you go and you buy a car and then they just take your car away from you for a couple of weeks just because fuck you. There's no real reason they just take it from you. Then eventually they give it back to you and say, all right, now you can enjoy. And you're like, what? You just took my car from me for, for no reason. Like, shouldn't I get something for this? And they say, no. Have fun. You know, it, it, I know a car is kind of an extreme example, but think of like any product or any service out there. You pay your money, you get your product, you have it for like an hour, and then they just take it away from you for a couple of weeks for no reason and then don't compensate you. It doesn't make any sense. So hopefully something is going to happen for these people. You guys may be wondering about my friend System who ended up getting banned on day one for no reason. Dude played for a couple of hours, got off because he had to work the next day. He got up early hoping to get a few games in before work and he was banned he got on he's banned and he's like what the hell i didn't even, he didn't do anything he was playing with us he was in discord with us that night and what ended up happening to him is he's got to check the website he's currently at work right now as i'm recording this video but he told us in discord he's like yeah i just i tried to get a refund for the game through steam and steam gave him the refund <laughs> and so right now he doesn't even own modern warfare 2 but he's going to keep checking on his account and if it says that he's unbanned he'll get the game again but he's still pretty salty and still pretty pissed about the fact that he purchased the game for $100, got to play it for all of two hours, and then they banned him for no reason. Probably once again because he had one of these four programs running on his PC. Freaking ridiculous. Activision Blizzard, be better, man. You guys are always talking about your team, Rico Chet, and that's the reason why. That right there, I guarantee you guys, is the reason why they don't actually acknowledge all these false bans because it makes that anti cheat that they keep talking about being so great, it makes it look shitty, and they don't want this story to get out there. They don't want this story to start blowing up. They're hoping apparently to fix the issues and correct the mistakes and then just sweep it underneath the rug and pretend it never happened. But that's not what I do here on YouTube, man. I'm going to make sure people know it happened because it's fucking bullshit. But thankfully, people are starting to get their accounts back. Charlie Intel just put this tweet up right here saying they've seen numerous reports from players who claim they were falsely banned in Modern Warfare 2 now being unbanned. That's also fantastic news. It goes right with what Tom Henderson was saying. So... It appears they're actually fixing the problem. Hopefully compensation happens. And that's coming from somebody who didn't even get banned. Like, I want you, the person that got banned, to be compensated because it's ridiculous how this anti-cheat, which they've spent years and years and how many millions of dollars making, can ban so many people for no reason fucking ridiculous man it really is like it's actually frustrating and i'm not even someone who's personally affected by it but ladies and gentlemen as always i will keep you posted as this story develops and as we get more information if you are somebody or know somebody who is banned leave your thoughts and feedback down there in the comments let us know what happened are you unbanned are they unbanned like what happened let us know your story down there in the comments thank you all so much for listening be sure to subscribe if you're new around here and i hope you guys all have a wonderful day